AL, and education. They with Dan Fitzpatrick every day. Today we are exploring an article titled Texas Private Schools' Use of New AI Tutor Rocket Student Test Scores to Top 2% in the Country, written by Nicholas Lanham and published on Fox News. This article introduces us to Alpha School, a private school located in Austin, Texas, that has implemented artificial intelligence in a rather transformative way. Alpha School isn't just using AI as a supplementary tool, they've integrated it into the very core of their instructional model, and the results, according to the article, are dramatic. The school's students now rank in the top 2% of academic performance nationwide. The story is compelling not just for its results, but for what it suggests about the future of personalised learning and the evolving role of educators in an AI-driven landscape. The article begins by profiling Alpha School's approach to learning and how it's different from conventional models. Co-founded by Mackenzie Price, Alpha School is built around a simple but bold premise that learning can be personalised, efficient and still holistic when AI is used thoughtfully. According to Price, students at Alpha School spend only two hours each day using the AI tutor for academic subjects. This might sound like a surprisingly short amount of time to those of us used to the standard six to seven hour school day. But the catch is that those two hours are focused, optimised and personalised in a way that traditional classroom instruction often struggles to achieve. The remaining hours in the day are allocated to skill building sessions that focus on essential life competencies such as public speaking, financial literacy and teamwork. This balance is key to the school's approach. Price describes how the AI tutor enables students to advance more quickly through academic material by adapting to each learner's strengths and weaknesses. It identifies gaps in knowledge and tailors exercises and explanations accordingly. Rather than being constrained by a one-size-fits-all pace, students can move faster in areas where they are strong and spend more time on topics that challenge them. The adaptive nature of the technology supports mastery learning, a philosophy that believes students should fully understand a topic before moving on. Traditionally, mastery learning is hard to implement in a classroom of 25 or more students. But with AI, each learner essentially receives a custom curriculum on demand. This efficiency in academic instruction has opened up space in the school day for what the educators at Alpha call passion projects. These are student-driven initiatives that allow learners to dive deeply into topics they care about. Ella Christine, a junior at Alpha School, explains that unlike her friends in conventional schools who are often swamped with homework and high stress levels, she and her peers at Alpha complete their core academic tasks in focused three-hour blocks. The rest of their time is spent developing skills and working on creative or entrepreneurial projects. This approach doesn't just relieve stress, It cultivates a sense of agency and self-motivation in students. In many ways, this model redefines the role of the teacher. At Alpha School, educators aren't primarily instructors delivering content. Instead, they function more like mentors or coaches. Since the AI system handles the instructional delivery and adapts content based on student performance, teachers are freed to provide motivational, emotional and interpersonal support. Price emphasises that this shift in teacher responsibilities allows for deeper human connection and a more individualised approach to student development. It also helps address teacher burnout, an increasingly urgent issue in traditional schools where educators often juggle content delivery, administrative duties, behavioural management and emotional support all at once. Of course, the article doesn't claim that AI can or should replace human teachers. Instead, it makes a case for a new kind of partnership, where technology handles the mechanics of instruction and teachers handle the mentorship, inspiration and human relationship side of education. It's a division of labour that aligns with what many education researchers have been advocating for years. The idea that schools should move beyond rote content delivery and towards cultivating skills, relationships and higher order thinking. One of the more fascinating implications of this approach is what it suggests about equity and access. At present, Alpha School is a private institution, 
and like many innovations in education, its model may initially seem out of reach for public schools constrained by funding and policy limitations. However, Price hints at a broader vision. The ultimate goal, she suggests, is to make this kind of education accessible to a wider population. If AI tutoring becomes more affordable and widely available, it could help close achievement gaps by providing high-quality, personalised instruction to all students, regardless of their zip code. This raises important questions for educational leaders and policymakers. If AI can help students achieve significantly better outcomes in less time, how might we redesign the school day? How might we train teachers to operate effectively in a model where their primary role is mentorship and emotional support? And how might we ensure that access to this technology doesn't exacerbate existing inequalities, but instead helps to level the playing field? It's also worth noting the implications for student agency and engagement. The students at Alpha aren't just high achievers. They're described as more relaxed, more curious, and more self-directed than their peers in traditional schools. This may be partly because the learning environment is designed to support autonomy. When students feel they have control over their education, when they can work at their own pace, pursue their own interests, and get help precisely when they need it, they're more likely to stay motivated and engaged. Passion projects, as the article suggests, are not just extracurricular fluff, they're central to the school's pedagogical model, a way to connect learning to real-world applications and intrinsic interests. That said, we must approach stories like these with a degree of caution. Alpha School's success, while impressive, is still an early case study. We don't yet have long-term data on how graduates from this model fare in higher education or the workforce. There are also important questions about scalability. Can this model be replicated in larger schools, in more diverse settings, and under different funding constraints? And how do we ensure that the AI tools used are equitable, culturally responsive, and free of the kinds of algorithmic biases that have plagued other uses of AI? Yet even with these caveats, the article serves as a powerful prompt for reflection. It encourages us to imagine what school might look like if we were freed from the constraints of traditional scheduling, standardised pacing and overburdened instruction. It asks us to consider how technology might enhance rather than diminish the human elements of teaching and learning. And it suggests that personalisation, long a buzzword in education, might finally be within reach, not through heroic teaching alone, but through strategic integration of intelligent systems. For educators, this means thinking creatively about the possibilities. Could a similar approach work in your school, even on a small scale? Might you experiment with AI-driven tools for math or reading intervention? Could parts of the school day be restructured to allow students more time for independent inquiry or collaborative projects? And what new professional development would be needed to support teachers in these evolving roles? Ultimately, the story of Alpha School isn't just about technology. It's about a different vision for what school can be. A place where students are known, challenged and empowered. Where learning is both efficient and joyful and where educators are valued not as content delivery machines, but as mentors and guides. Whether or not AI tutors become commonplace in all schools, the principles behind Alpha's success, personalization, student agency, emotional support, are timeless and applicable across many educational contexts. That's all for today. If you like this podcast, please consider writing a review on your podcast app and sharing it on your socials. Thank you. I am excited to announce that my new book, Infinite Education, the four-step strategy for leading change in the age of artificial intelligence, is now available in paperback and ebook. It has become a number one bestseller in four categories on Amazon. Sandra Ruffo, the president of the New York State Schools Board, described it as a visionary manifesto. The historian Sir Anthony Selden explained it as a compelling vision, legendary education pioneer, Sugata Mitra urged educators to read the book. He said, this book will make you think about the issue and ask the right questions. Find out more and get the book at www.infiniteeducation.ai.